Hi everyone. My name is Charlie and my partner is so today we're going to talk about a cost switching and co mixing in a Thai TV show. The first of all, I have the one question for all of you that have have you ever watched any Thai TV show before? And uh, how do you feel about it? It's annoying or it's fine for you. Uh, as you know, like in our society, in the present, uh, there are a lot of the languages to, to communication that people can use as like, like we have many choice of the languages to use to communicate like this and do you know like English is the second language that people in the many country decided to use in the second language in their life it's also people in the TV show of the Thailand too they are often to use the code switching and code mixing in their show uh, do you know like code switching and code mixing it's quite different because the code switching it's referred to like you can use the two languages within the one sentence but uh, the code mixing it's referred to the embedding of the linguistic unit like like uh, phrases with or morphemes of the one language into the utterance of the another language to communicate. And in our case study, we use the two types of method. The first one is a primary research that, that we create the survey to explore the people's perspective or people's opinions about the code switching and code mixing in the Thai TV show. And the second one is a secondary research we use in our paper. Like we use the academic resources to be the reference and to be the site to, uh, to make our paper be reliable more. Nowadays, code switching and code mixing are quite often used in television programs. Most TV programs that involve people whose first language is the same do not face the interference of second language. On the other hand, in TV, TV programs that involve bilinguals or multilinguals, code switching and code mixing are often used. So in this point, I will examine the use of both codes and which one is more dominant in Thai TV show. Um, first to examine is code switching. Code switching is the language switch that is done at certain boundaries and it is often used by foreign bilingual speakers. There are three types of code switching which are intersentential, intrasentential, and text switching. According to Essen, intersentential is often used by bilingual, by fluent bilingual speakers, which means code switching is, uh, code switching requires fluencies in both languages. So that code switching is often used in a uh, TV program that involves people who are quite fluent in both languages, such as the first Thailand Woody show. And here's the example scene from the book from Woody show. So I am so happy for you, นะครับอยากจะบอกลิซ่าในนามของพี่คนหนึ่งว่าลิซ่าเก่งมากเก่ง So next code to examine is code mixing. There are three types of code mixing which are intralexical 
alternation and intrasentential. For example, the intralexical is adding a word from another language in the middle of a language spoken, such as could my smile which means you don't smile. Possibly called mixing is often used by people who are not quite fluent in a second language. According to Spice, noted that code mixing occurs when a speaker's proficiency in, lang in a language spoken is low, so that they tend to use a more competent language to fill the gap that they could not express. Um, the, the example for code mixing from the TV shows named Thai Tiao Thai. And after examining the use of code mixing and code switching in Thai TV shows, I will move to examine the code that is used the most. Code mixing could be used in both monolingual and bilingual environment, but code switching is often used in a bilingual and a multilingual environment, which is obvious that code mixing is used more extensively as not many Thais are fluent in English. And Sensei and Chantal noted that from the study, code switching is still rare in Thailand. And it is used only in communities where people are fluent in many languages. Moreover, not every actress and actresses or people in Thai TV programs is fluent in English, so that code mixing is more used than code switching because code mixing does not require fluency in both languages as code switching. Therefore, code mixing is used more than code switching as not many people are fluent in English and it may be difficult for audiences to listen to a complete English sentence. So after the examination of the use of code mixing and code switching, I will move to the second point which is what influenced them to use code mixing and code switching. Um, both codes are quite ubiquitous and are used due to many reasons based on the purpose of speakers as many Thai TV shows often use Thai English, code switching and code mixing. There must be a reason for them to use. Normally, the purpose of communication is to send messages to receivers and to provide meaning to the receivers. However, in some Thai TV shows, it is more than sending the messages due to the use of both English and Thai when speaking. A first factor is environment. People who switch their languages or mix their languages that are appropriate for some situations or the receivers Similarly, code switching and code mixing are used depending on the situation at interlocutors. Um, as mentioned by Akta, Khan, and Farid, and in many Thai TV shows, there are lots of people who are like half American guests invited, which means they are bilinguals or multilinguals. So that speakers tend to use code switching and code mixing to pro provide a better understanding. Some even repeat the sentences in another languages to clarify the messages. For, for instance, code switching and code mixing are often used in the film in Thailand because it is a Thai TV show taken from America and there are many foreign competitors so the environment is likely to be international and the use of foreign language might not be enough. Here's the example.
พอได้กลิ่นหอมแล้วได้อู้ผู้หญิงอยู่ที่ไหนทุกคนวิ่งตาม So you come out and I want you to and then jump. Um, I think she the speaker switches from Thai to English when she is talking to her teams, as most of her team are more fluent in English. Next factor is emotion. Emotion is another factor that can influence a person to use code switching and code mixing, according to. p a r f i n g o noted that people who are bilinguals and multilinguals could prefer to express emotions by using their second language or third language, as they do not always prefer to express emotions with their first language. Moreover, some speakers decide to use second language because some concepts in first language are more difficult to convey than second language. And some words from the second language are more emotional. Here's the example. One, two, three. Strong, 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 strong. She uses the word "strong" in an emotional context, which is the situation that. She really wants her competitors to show strength, and the word "strong" is easier to use than the word in Thai "kang lang." It also give provide the it is also the better word to encourage competitors to show strength with a shorter word compared to Thai. However, while using second language, some people would switch back to their first language or the more familiar language when it it comes to being emotional, such as fright, sadness, or intense emotion, because the first language can trigger more emotion than second language. Here's the example seen from the face Thailand. Hi, ma. Hello, Sweden. แม่ก็ไม่คนช่วยทุกอย่างจะดูรายการนี้ฉันก็ไม่ได้ติดตามรายการไทยอะไรมากฉันก็มาถึงที่นี่เลยมาสมัครที่อยากได้มากๆเลยแล้วฉันก็มี potential so much in me you haven't seen my whole body and soul want this I want this so bad อยากได้มากเลยทุกอย่าง look as seen when she started to cry heavily She switches to English, which is her first language. According to William, found that second language can trigger weaker emotional responses compared to first language, which means when switching to first language, it triggers stronger emotional responses. And in this part. Uh, it's about the audience's perspective toward of the code switching and code mixing in the Thai TV show. Uh, in this part, is this a based on the survey that we conducted to examine the people' perspectives and opinions about the using code switching and code mixing in the Thai TV show. As you know, like people started to choose the English languages. Uh, sorry, English language to use in almost all the media in Thailand and the business in Thailand, journalists in Thailand, and academics in Thailand too. It's prefer to use the number of the news sources to receive the information in English. That's why many Thai television host or actor try to use the code switching and code mixing in their show. However, using code switching and code mixing in Thai television that makes the different perspective for sure. That's why we decided to create the survey to explore them. About the perspective and 
about the comments, about the opinions uh, after they watch the Thai television show. And from the survey, we have uh, five questions to ask the people. The first one is, how old are you? And the results show that uh, the most people who do the survey have the range of age between 21 to 25 years old, which is 50%. And there are 37.5%. It's between 15 to 20 years old. And it's have 12.5%. It's between uh, 26 to 30 years old from the survey. And the second question, we asked how often do you mix the what in English and Thai within code switching and code mixing in your daily life? And the survey results show that 50% from the survey they use it sometime in the daily life and in the 16.7 person they usually use it in their daily life and it's also in the same person 16.7 who never use it before to communicate it with other people and the third one have you ever watched the Thai TV program in Thailand? Uh, as much like 79.2% of the people in the survey watch the Thai TV programs. And they are knows about the using code switching and code mixing of the hosts or actors in Thai television program. So well. And the next one, do you think there are too many code switching or code mixing in the Thai television program? Uh, the result show that it has 50% of the survey people think the code switching and code mixing, it might be too much. Might be too much. But 20.8% think that it's over much for them. And still have the 29.2% uh, 29 think that it's fine for them. It's okay for them. It's not much. It's, it's not less like this. And the last question, how do you feel about the code? to using the code switching or code mixing during the participant conversations. Uh, as you can see in this slide, uh, it is the sum of the uh, perspective of the people in the survey. Somebody say it's what's annoying. It's somebody say like it's normal to use it code mixing because sometimes the Thai word cannot explain what we want to say but somebody say like I think what language should be the chosen to communicate should the mixing and somebody say like I feel annoyed because I did under I didn't understand what what he or she didn't use the Thai or English in full sentence, but in another way. Like I thought that some words when it using the code switching or code mixing, many people like can learn the new words or new vocab in a new language too. Like this. But the most of the perspective, it's quite it's quite a positive way. Most of them like say it's fine if it's not too much. And they can learn the new words from the 
from the Thai TV show when the host used the code switching or code mixing in the show. But in the other hand, like there are some group say like it's feel annoyed that's why you you don't you don't choose the one language to communicate in the show like this. But most of them it's positive perspective. And the next is uh, about a prediction trend of the audience using code switching or code mixing after they watch the Thai TV show. Uh, in the TV show, it's very influenced for the people, for the teenagers, and it's. I think it's it's good to predict about this trend. It can be good or it can be bad. From the resources that I choose, uh, the first one said like the Thai speaking actors make mix the English programs in conversation without altering the original characters in the dramas, resulting the Thai people being creative in adapting. English to their own needs to communication by switching the words between Thai and English. It's mean like uh, teenagers or the younger people try to create the new words between Thai and English. What they mix it together, like such as like so cool, so cool. It's mean so cool, very cool. Uh, so in Thai, it's mean very much. Like they mix it between Thai words and English word. And the second result uh, say that uh, the variety of the English used in Thailand it's constantly changing, and this trend it's mainly related to communication between Thais or non Thais as well, especially in education uh, from the both of them uh, I can predict it like uh, the code switching and code mixing it can be a good trend it can be a popular trend in the future because like in the present uh, most of people in Thailand try to use the English word more and more and they try to put the English word into their sentence to communication with each other. Uh, in conclusion, we have analyzed the use of code switching and code mixing in Thai TV programs, including identifying the dominant codes, the reasons behind the use, and the audience's perspective toward the use of code mixing and code switching in Thai TV programs. From the analysis, the dominant code used in Thai TV TV program is code mixing, as not, pe not many people are fluent in both the second language and first language. The course code switching requires fluency in both languages. Secondly, the reason for using code switching and code mixing are related to environment and emotion. The environment could influence people to use code mixing and code switching. Asset setting might be bilingual or multilingual. So using code switching and code mixing could provide a better understanding. Also, the inter intercurators who are bilingual or multilingual might not understand the messages within the use of first language. Lastly, the survey is made to identify whether audiences have positive or negative thoughts toward the use of CM and CS. And the result is negative perspective is less than positive perspective. Thank you for listening. Uh, here's the references that we used in this presentation.